Hi everybody and welcome to the Samar S'mores. Now as you can see I have actually created a type of simple infograph on how to use the Samar program which of course substitution, augmentation, modification, and redefinition. Now some people are wondering how you can create a really good app smash using this model and I'm actually telling you how to use it with Google Apps for Education. What's so great about Google Apps for Education to create your first SMAR smash is, of course, is the fact that each of the apps do follow the four principles, especially in the Google Docs and Google Drive applications, as you can do substitution, augmentation, modification, and find redefinition. To start this lesson, it's pretty simple. A teacher will use Legos, in this case, to create a math equation question and how best way to depict this in a fraction lesson that the students themselves would teach in base using the various Legos and Skittles to create their math fraction lesson. The first step is to create a community math project page using Google Plus to where the students and the other classrooms will meet in just a Google Plus page they can keep to private and only have themselves assigned. After that, students will go to a forms or spreadsheet to where they can do their assignments and their step approach to how they're going to create this Lego math lesson. Once that happens, they will create all needed equation, objects, and tools needed in Google Draw to which they can then save straight up to Google Drive to be used for the rest of the Google Apps. After that, students will go right into Google Docs and type up the lesson. This will be a wonder wonderful contribution since the students can actually all work together to be a group assignment to where they can make comments, set up their lesson, edit, and work from there. Once everything is finished for the lesson, they'll just go right ahead and put it together in a Google presentation using Google Slides. And once that's all finished, save it right to the Google Drive, and then, of course, post the lesson in Google Plus so then other students can see the lesson and perform the task. This is a great way then to incorporate all of the main Google Apps, utilize into the Google Drive, and still, of course, work it into a community and still use the SAMR model for substitution, augmentation, modification, and finding redefinition. This is a great example of using the SMAR model to create an app smash s'more. Give it a try today.